But tonight I say we must move forward, not backward, upward, not forward, and always twirling, twirling, twirling towards freedom. <laughs> well, 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 well. Isn't this interesting here? George R. R. Martin and Neil Gaiman claim they hate Hollywood's tendency to alter source material. How? Really? <laughs> really? Sounds like someone else I know. Sounds like uh, legions, perhaps, of uh, disgruntled fans all over the world who have been called uh, racists, bigots, and all sorts of other terrible names they've been smeared at for saying the exact same thing going on now. I mean, how long has this been going on? Years, it seems. Years and years and years we've had to swallow this uh, tripe, this... Uh, altered source material and uh been uh been smeared for complaining about it what is going on here uh neil gaiman what are you saying here it is uh bounding into comics this is uh spencer bukali again this guy is my he's my sage he's my wise poet despite the numerous changes seen in recent live action adaptations of their receptive works game of thrones scribe George R.R. R. Martin and the Sandman creator Neil Gaiman have claimed they despise Hollywood's tendency to unnecessarily alter a piece, a given piece of source material when adapting it to the small or silver screens. Could have fooled me, guys, especially Neil. I don't know so much about George. I mean, I don't know how much involvement he had in Game of Thrones when it really started to go off the rails, but Neil... Neil, my friend, we have we, we have words to uh, to exchange here. I'm afraid. Let me scroll down to get to the meat of this. Nothing that this concept, noting that this concept of being faithful to source material was controversial, quote unquote, among the industry. Martin explained, "How faithful do you have to be? Some people don't feel that you have to be faithful at all." Yeah, we're well familiar with those people. Uh, we see them out there. We see what they we, they say. We see what they do. We recognize what they're all about. By their deeds shall you know them. There's this phrase that goes around, he continues, I'm going to make it my own. Oh, my goodness. We've had enough of that, haven't we? Especially in comic books. Get If you want to make Batman your own, how about don't? <laughs> if you want to make Spider-Man your own, if, in fact, if you want to make any character, any character that you didn't create, if you want to make him your own, how about... No. How about you just don't? Uh, Martin says, I hate that phrase. And I think Neil probably hates that too. Let's scroll down and see what Neil says. Uh, to this game and explicitly confirmed, I do. Really, Neil? Is this you, bro? <laughs> Is this you, bro? I hear someone uh, venerating before the mighty Neil Gaiman. Distinguished Neil Gaiman. I have to ask, and I'm not absolutely racist. My dear cousins are black. Thank you for pointing that out. Vincenzo, why did you choose for Death and Delirium and also Lucifer actresses to look so different and even ugly Ooh, compared to those of the superb graphic novel? Clearly a fan. To be precise, I would not have appreciated Death even if it had been blonde and blue-eyed. This sounds sounds like this is a person who just wanted something accurate to the source material. Did you two succumb to the now ubiquitously politically correct? To which Neil Gaiman responds, well, Vincenzo, we cast the actress who played Delirium, Delirium purely to upset you. We found out what sort of person you didn't like and just went for it. The others were cast on the base of talent. Were they? Were they, Neil? Were they really? Can you say that with a straight face? Which Neil am I talking to? Is it this one or is it this one? I don't know. I feel like you're twirling, twirling, twirling towards freedom. Uh, he goes on to say, I spent 30 years watching people make Sandman their own. And some of those people haven't even read Sandman to make it their own. They just flipped through a few comics or something. What is he talking about? I, I went and searched on Wikipedia. Apparently there was a movie long stuck in production. Uh, but that never happened. Lucifer is based on the Sandman Lucifer. And there's some other stuff. But uh, until Netflix came around, 
uh, nothing. So I don't know. Maybe he's talking about other book adaptations, but this is the thing on Hollywood. What are you talking about, Neil? Is Neil losing his mind? Uh, let's continue on here. Where have I? Where have I got some more notes here? All right. When the Sandman made the leap to Netflix, the iconic characters of Death and John Constantine were race and gender swapped, respectively, out of Gaiman's desire, as described by producer Alan Heinberg, to make the series as inclusive as possible. But Neil, didn't I just read that you said uh, you don't like changing the source material? You don't like how Hollywood does that? I'm confused. Uh, Gaiman even seems to have outright approached his original work with the intent to alter it. In August interview in the UK news outlet Express, the author, the author touted how it was incredibly liberating to be able to look at everything in Sandman from a perspective of now and getting to ask, well, if I was beginning writing this story now, would I still do that? Uh, apparently you wouldn't, Neil. Apparently you wouldn't, which is uh, quite surprising considering uh, this was you just back in, my goodness, two years ago, almost to the day. They're talking about adaptations here on Twitter. And he says, yes, but the fans are fans. And they like the source material because it's the source material they like. So if you do something else, you risk alienating fans on a monumental scale. It's not Batman if he's not a news reporter. If he's now a news reporter in a yellow trench coat with a pet bat. I couldn't agree more, Neil. It's so I'm so happy to see that you have started, uh, done a 180, and done another 180 and come full circle back. Will it be enough? Will it be enough? Let's check it out. Uh, this came out a month ago. Netflix not renewing Sandman season because fans watched it wrong. Neil, are you blaming the are you blaming the fans uh, because they didn't they didn't binge watch it? Why? I can't imagine why. Why didn't fans binge watch it? Why did they watch one episode here, one episode there, and then drop it? I can't. I can't imagine what could have been the cause. Uh, but uh, now that the Sandman uh, is possibly in renewal purgatory. Uh, you seem to be in line with, no, no, we need to respect the source material. It's very convenient. But don't you worry, all you Sandman fans out there. The Sandman showrunner promises a really ambitious season two, if it's renewed. <laughs> if it's renewed. Uh, this is published three weeks ago, and it looks like, yeah, two months since this thing has come out and no renewal notice yet uh best of luck neil maybe um maybe flipping again 180 will help will help get this thing back on track i don't know uh but welcome to the team welcome to team let's respect the source material let's make adaptations that are faithful to the source material i mean i said it in a video yesterday what's the point what is the point of doing a fan adaptation if you're not going to take advantage of the reason why you're doing a fan adaptation in the first place, which is playing to the existing fan base, of which a lot of these properties have extremely large existing fan bases. Uh, makes sense to me. Uh, great to have you back, <laughs> at least for now. We'll see. I'm dubious. I'm uh, just slightly dubious. I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think out there? Leave a comment. Is Neil back? Is uh, is George on uh, the right train? I don't know as much about George. Um, I Obviously, I was not a fan, put it mildly, of the later seasons of Game of Thrones, but I watched House of the Dragon and, yeah, really enjoyed it. It was a great show. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like, uh, subscribe, and consider getting that notification bell on. Always helps. All right, that's it for me. I will see you on the next one. Bye.